Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. So it's only been a couple of days on the new update, but if we jump over to the leaderboards, we should see some truly astonishing numbers. So E202, E185, and I've seen scores higher than these over on the Discord. But if you get to a certain point, it seems it doesn't let you submit your score if it gets too high. So we're going to try and re replicate some of those strategies before a minor balance patch comes and reduces the efficacy of some of these things. So very first thing we're going to do is build 199 on our first die. As soon as we get some faces, I don't know why, I don't know if it happens for anybody else, but right at that moment, just as the game is loading between coming from the menu to getting your first eye. The game always says not responding for a second and then always comes back. Don't know if that's just me and my machine. So I'm going to build one face to 97, but not the other for now, just to see how this goes at some advice of... Uh, ADX from the Discord. So I'll do that and then be right back with you. All right, that is 197 built. We're now going to upgrade to the fourth tier of shop pretty quickly. We're definitely going to skip straight through this tier. Straight up to tier three. Now here, if I can find it, a decent multiplier for the 97 wouldn't go amiss, I think. It's just so many rolls so early on. But we'll stick that on there. Then if I can find six times one reroll, but since we cannot, let's jump up to the fourth tier. And now what we're looking for is a shop refresh adder on each individual die. Now the temptation is to take set all die faces just to build the 97 up to be a higher scoring thing. But I don't know if how closely, I don't know how closely getting away from the intended path is gonna screw me over later. Because really what we want is just the one high scoring face, triple re-rolls and glue on it and a heavy weight. Well, there's triple rerolls and a heavyweight, so why not get that in early? So we are giving up the capacity for no weights bonus at this time. But hopefully the strategy is going to be so strong we're not going to effectively need that later on. So now we want to find shop refresh adders like this and six times triple rerolls as well. So we'll put the triple rerolls over here, put the shop refresh adder on the one. And do we want to glue that as well? I think so. It's between that and a heavy weight, but we have glue presented to us right now. We're not doing big spender this run. There's six times reroll in triplicate again. So we'll buy that, put it on the other dice whilst we have it. Then we're still looking for shop refresh adders. Add die quantity 
is going to be one of the big things that we need later on in the strategy. All numeric die faces have the quantity of dice added to their roll result. This effect occurs before bonuses. I wonder if it's worth picking that up immediately. Because that's part of what we're going for here is trying to breed out as many dice as possible as we go. But 47,000 right now is quite expensive. Alright, I'm doing it. I don't know if I'll regret it. Still looking for shop refresh adders. There's triple rerolls. We'll take that for our other die. They seem very prevalent today. Don't know if it's just some observation bias. And I'm going to avoid trying to just buy everything else willy nilly. Unless we can find any of the other components that I think we will really want to find. But right now I'm not seeing it. There's a shop refresh adder. So that's going there. Kilogram weights go on the shop refresh we can probably put another one on that last die awaiting its shop refresh to arrive then we've just got to find one we've done re-rolls in triplicate for everyone or at least every one of the dice that is currently available and there is no 99s reroll in times two, which is something else that we're going to want. So with that in mind, I'm going to pick up a 10x for our 97, because that's where our score is coming from. Then there's nothing else that I want to buy to help increase my score immediately but I will pick up this 81 just because it's so cheap and it can make value for us whilst we're trying to fund our no 99's double reroll 138,000 it's not obscenely expensive so that's going to help us once we start breeding stuff which is then going to be the next thing to look into Just want one more shop refresh adder. And it doesn't exist. Of course, we will find one eventually. Then it's figuring out exactly what we're doing after we find it. There we go. So that's going on there. Only face multiplied squared. If the most common result is the only number rolled, square it. Well, we're not doing that just yet. Right, so let me check up what comes next. Well, the next part of the plan is certainly getting to our final shop upgrade. Let's glue this one down first, since we have glue available. 
hoping there's going to be a very quick turnaround in getting everything else going because we are approaching the halfway mark already. So there's our final shop upgrade. Then we want not a dye breeder, but a dye breeder adder is the next thing to find. While at the same time, trying to lock our current shop face die like that. And then I aim to put a uh, key somewhere in the mix and then we can just kind of keep breeding out the dice that we have until we're ready to start switching up what we're breeding. Passive Hunter is so good, but I don't think we need it with what we've built so far. Especially not for almost 300k. Die Booster is not the one we want. So we've got two of those locked now. So really we're looking for the die breeder adder face. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Right, replaces a die face of your choice with a die breeder adder. Every 200 times this is rolled, it adds a new die with faces die plus. Die plus being a die adder. So now we want that. I don't think it's worth buying anything else here before we buy that. So let's get to it. Is it 180,000? Is that what my memory is telling me it was? Yes. And we're going to swap out this face here for it because these are going to clone shortly and be able to be put there. Then what's next? Right, now we want to lock that face too. And then try and find a reasonably cheap key. No weights triple reroll is no good to us because we are investing in weights today. No 99's bonus would do us for score, but we're trying not to blow our score any more than necessary right now. One hundred times die quantity multiplier, I think is something that we want, even if just one of them. Those came out way faster than I thought they were, which is a blessing. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna put it on our unpopulated die for now. Now what we need is more locks and a key. There are some locks, so first lock going to the 200% uh, 200 roll die adder we'll put another one of these on here because it's got the 81 why not now we're still looking for a key and more locks basically not worrying about trying to inflate our score right now we're doing okay with regards to how our score is growing versus what's available to us so we have a key is there any way to make that key more affordable right now not particularly we could take a wild and a wild adjacency bonus but by the time we've paid for that we could have bought the key in the first place we will buy a 500 lock put it over here now where am I going to put this key when I get it because we probably don't want it on this die here we want it in this location but not on this die that's currently scoring us our points 
think it's going to be a case of locking one of the ones that has glue and a weight on it because we've now got multiple of the shop breeding faces we can then make one target for the key breeding so i will stick this here for now then we're going to roll up to this key i'm also going to buy this die face just so that we have some more scoring going and another place to put things if I want to that isn't a locked face. So now we have to try and get to 640,000 as quickly as possible. Is there anywhere for me to put a 40, uh, 10x on a different number that isn't the 97 we have? We could put it on a 48. Why not? It's so cheap comparatively. Right, time to see how many rolls we're going to have left by the time we afford this key. Now we have two die breeders. And the key can go... here because this is next to the die breeder and the shoppers so then we can start locking those as targets although we want to lock this one as well so that we can have one key unlocking stuff and then a cloned key that we can keep cloning but for now we need more locks Now, do we lock the key with the 500 roller? I'm going to wait for a 300 on that. But that key can start contributing to unlocking this 500. There's a 300 lock. So that goes on to the one with the key to try and make a clone of a key as fast as possible. Now, how this is all going to come together with only 949 rolls left does slightly remain to be seen, but I'm going to keep going with what is intended. Then eventually, once we're growing loads of dice, we can then grow, we can see if we can get Dyrus and then some of the other passives that rely on number of dice present, basically, is the plan. Now, rather than buying a die breeder adder for 435, I'm gonna keep looking for locks instead. There is Dyrus. I think it's too early for this to be good for us right now. I think that would actually break the run too soon from where we're at right now. So we're looking for more locks. Viral die quantity multipliers. Die quantity multipliers have a chance when rolled to replace any adjacent die face with a copy of itself. Additionally, diruses will be twice as likely to spread. That might be something we're interested in later as well, as well as 100 dice bonus. For every 100 dice you roll, gain a stacking 20% multiplier on all dice. We probably want that as well, but right now, we need to worry about locking stuff before worrying about trying to score stuff. So I'm just looking for locks. We found one. So this is going to lock the one with the 200 roll breeder on it. How are we doing on those others? 287, 460, 54. And then a 500 die. I 
think we can just do one of the shop ones. Because I want the other ones to keep breeding. Eventually, of course, if we lock everything, we'll have to just roll out what we can. There's another key. But we haven't picked up much in the way of scoring right now, and a million points for a key seems more than we're going to be able to raise right now. But I will take another die breeder add a face instead as something to roll up to. That will then give us another target to lock more imminently. And I can replace that on one of our ones that currently has a shopping face. We'll do one with a shopping face with a weight and a glue. Now again, we want more stuff, more locks. We want more locks. Don't roll past the locks. So we can make a copy of this guy. So now I'm really, I was about to say, I'm really waiting for my key to get cloned and it has been cloned. So with the key cloned, we can now lock this key. And then we want to move that die next to the other key as quickly as possible. Which we can now do. So that's this one here. Can come to there. Now we want more locks and to do some slight maneuvering of stuff that we have that is currently not locked. I'm not going to go for a million for, for another key. Every 100 dice you roll, gain a stacking 20% multiplier. How many do we have now? This is five by five is 25, plus four more is only 29. But I'm hoping that soon, it's really going to start breeding very quickly. Now we're rolling about 5,000 points a roll. So 100 rolls to get to a half million. I think we can come back for that later. It will come round again. What we do want to see probably is some more die quantity multipliers because those are going to be where we can start building score since our only real score gainer at the moment is the 99, 97 with the multipliers and this one 100x one. So these other dice that we're breeding can take die quantity multipliers onto them. And everything is re-rolling by two because we have the no 99s re-roll by two passive. So much Dyrus now. But what we want is I want to move a die breeder to be next to I guess we can use this key as our basis. So this key is going to lock the things around it. This is a key that is being bred. This is a 200 roll breeder. So I want to move this 200 roll breeder to here. Then I really want to lock it as soon as possible. Right, 
this is going to be where we learn if everything is going to start working as designed, I think. Right. Do we have another? We do. This guy here. So I'm going to save up 57k. Not too difficult to do. And then move this to be where this one is. Now we want to lock that as well. Now we could also lock this and try to get some keys going. I'm going to do that. So that's more keys, but we need more locks to have more things locked whilst our extra key is unlocking. This is too many of the same word, isn't it? It's too much of the same word. I concede. So I just want locks. I'm not interested in trying to buy other keys. I'm not interested in trying to build score in other ways right now. There may well be some other part of this strategy that I should be utilizing this time for, but this is how things are and so be it. We don't currently have another key that has unlocked yet. That is on that die there. And how many rolls left on that? 274, so still tons. But there's a lock. Lots of 300 locks as opposed to 500 locks, which I'm not complaining about. So if this is a key with the four things next to it that are current... Oh, there is a key. There's a key with the four things next to it that we want to be locked. This key is breeding more keys, so we want to move this guy probably here at our next convenience. So now we want a move face or a move die. Of course, if we see locks, we should buy them as well. So where's this guy going? Probably go here for right now. When this unlocks, it will have a key on it. Although I would love for this to be here. But the, this key doesn't have a weight on it. Although it's not that hard to put a weight on a key either. So this is locked. This is where another key is going to be. But unless I can move a die right now, which I can't, it's actually kind of a moot point. So, breed that. And we don't have any other die breeders at the moment, apart from standard die breeders. So, breed that as well. Give me a 50x die. Right. Movement, keys, locks. Not my preferred type of movement. But I can move this key over to here. We would need to pick up triple rerolls for it as well, though. So why not just move the whole dice instead? So we're moving this key to here. Now I want more locks again. Actually, I'm running out of shop refreshes. There's 100 dice bonus. How many are we up to? That's seven by... That's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by five is 35, 40, 45. So still not quite there yet. Mm. 
do not need top three. Something else I want to move. I think I have another die breeder. There's one. So we want to move that somewhere so that it can be up against all the other stuff. So this key is our prime key. This key is going to make a cloned one. This is our alternate key. So I think I want this here. And then we want that locked as well. More die movers, but I don't think I want to move anything right now. Something just got added. I don't know if it's the same noise still for a die being added and a die being unlocked. I guess we can check. So that's the one with the key. That's great news. So we've got key cloning four. So I actually want this to unlock and then to be able to put a key there. How many on that one? 222, still a lot. So as ever, just looking for locks. I don't know if at some point we do want to start taking more of the scoring passives, but the cost of stuff doesn't seem to be the prohibitive part of the run at the moment. I would like more shop refreshes though. I'll take a hundred times die. Get that doing some scoring for us as well. Did I move the one with the extra key? Not yet. I should probably do that. So this is two keys impacting these. So we could probably just put a key here, in fact, fairly comfortably. The locks have really dried up though. Nice to see you. To see you nice. If you are not British, you may well not get that reference. Don't worry about it. It's not one you need to get. I'm wondering if I maybe should have put more shopping roll faces on the other dice that are getting created, just so that even when the heavy weights don't roll, the other faces can still have a chance to contribute something. But this is our prime die. So we will lock the one with the key that's being touched by two keys, so that can make better stuff for us. And we kind of have a key breeding machine as well as the rest of the system. In a minute I'll blink and I'll be like, when did I get 300 dice? Because I can just see that happening now. 
Immune total multis and adders. Upon purchase, total roll multipliers and all die refresh adders are immune to the effects of viral die quantity multipliers. Any face which multiplies the entire roll and refresh adders. So not dice that add other dice, only dice that add refreshes. I'm still not quite sure what our late game is going to look like, to be honest, but we'll get there. Right now, it's just about the locks. Just worrying about the locks. So, this is the prime one. You get some extra attention. I do like being able to afford at least one shop refresh for every roll that we make. Something else to lock now. So I realize now that this should be where a key sits, not where this should sit. But this guy is in a location next to a key, so that's fine. is a 500 lock. Don't want to miss out on that. Especially not when we've got those opportunities where multiple keys are touching one location. Upon purchase, numeric 99s are immune to the effect of diruses and die viral quantity multipliers. Again, there's probably all kinds of stuff that I should be utilizing right now and am not, but we'll see how things continue to progress. All die faces and passive abilities that gain value based on the total quantity of dice will instead use five times that amount. And we have all numeric dice that have the quantity of dice added to their roll result, so we definitely want this. That's one I'm pretty sure of. And it did not take awfully long to get to 700k for that. And we gained a lot of dice very quickly there. Looks like we've gained another key somewhere in the bunch. So we're looking for locks and movers. But preferably whole dice movers, not face movers. Now it might be time to consider 100 dice bonus as well. For every roll, for every 100 dice that you roll, gain a stacking 20% bonus on all dice. Well now we are up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, presumably by nine is going to be 81 and so very soon we will reach 100 in fact by the time we buy this we may even do so nope not even close but I'm going to buy it there's another lock I was sure we finished unlocking the guy with the key But I don't see the... Oh, there it is. Right there. It was there all along. Upon purchase, total roll multipliers and all die refresh adders. Oh, die adders, not just refresh adders. I think we want this now. And then at some point we want to invest in Dyrus, I think. It 
it's all getting a little beyond me. Let's take a reroll bonus because everything is rerolling twice. And why not take a Yahtzee bonus? Because look how many numeric faces we have just sitting waiting to make Yahtzees. And that will also fuel. I was going to say, it will also fuel us getting some rerolls, but we got that very quickly. Right, top three we do not want. I'll take some more die quantity multipliers, though. Just scatter them around, why not? More locks for me. Still looking for whole die movers. There's one. So I want to move a key. And I want to move it here, I think. Now I'm going to put it here. Because then it's next to... The one with the key being bred on it is next to three dice. We're now generating a lot of points. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, but you know, it's going to be fine. I want this guy with a die breeder to be actually over here in the mix. So, keys. I want this to be a key. So I need a key in that center one there eventually. Right, let me see if I can figure out what's happening next again. So something that I do want to find is the dice, dice, dice passive. That would make this thing all go far more efficiently. Die quantity multipliers have a chance when rolled to replace any adjacent die with a copy of itself. So we want this. Because we have all over a few die quantity multipliers. And right now the quantity of our die is our functional scoring. So let's pick that up for a cool 5 mil. We have weights all over the place, so that passive is no good to us. There's a lock. We lock the key. I need to move more of those keys, man. Even if I'm just moving them on their own at this point, I think. Add previous rolls to rolls. I think that's going to be very good for us. And then I want to be buying more of these die quantity multipliers all over the place. If they have a chance of breeding into one another, which as I understand by the virality they do. Although they might get to my keys and stuff, which might kill the run, which might have been something I've been short-sighted about. But time will tell. So for right now, I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. If we can find anything that looks like it's going to be functionally good for us, I will try and pick it up. Now we must have another key around here somewhere. There it is. I'm just going to pluck that key onto this dice. Then we have another two targets for locks. 
Although we're short on locks at the moment. Die quantity single face multiplier. Upon purchase, a die quantity face can be affected by multipliers. Well, we don't have any die quantity faces. Oh, wait, we do. We do have die quantity faces. Hold on. I'm getting confused with single face multipliers. Upon purchase, die quantity faces can be affected by multipliers which target a single face. Single face multipliers will no longer target any numerical values. All right, well, we don't have any single face multipliers, so that's less pertinent to us, I think. Double highest die. I don't see why we wouldn't pick that up for six not very expensive million. We can move a whole die here. So we've got key, lock, key. So we're looking for something that, if we don't have any keys, or we do have a whole dice key. So that is going to get moved to here. Now I really need more locks, like drastically badly. And I wonder if this point, locking the key less frequently won't be such a bother because I kind of want to get more of the non-key stuff cloning. Value of all doubles increased by 100%. We don't have non-standard sets yet. But I think if we got that, and it's only 5 million, if we can find non-standard sets soon, there's dice, dice, dice. If we can find non-standard sets soon, that will be a big benefit to us. But dice, dice, dice is obviously huge because that doubles the rate at which we accumulate new dice. Is there something I want to move? Probably. We're at the point where now the moving the stuff in the center for cloning min-max has gotten past where my brain can kind of compute what's ideal next. That and we are getting so few locks that it's not really helping us either. Let's take no 99s to 100%. And we'll take more die quantity multiplier faces where we find them. And this is something to lock. something else to lock rerolls worth an extra 100% absolutely another opportunity to lock something something touching by three locks at the moment or is it just the two that we already have we obviously have this one that's touching four but this just makes more keys which i'm not so enthused by at the moment but i guess if we make another key we could put it here and then these two targets have three keys on them so we'll do that passive hunter for a hundred mil Yep, that was easy. And I guess I'm just going to start hoovering up 
the other passives that don't impact us. Just so we can start removing them from the pool. Run length multiplier will be interesting because we'll almost always have runs of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that will do something for our scoring. Not exactly sure quite what, though. Uh, this 100 times has started creeping over into our other stuff. So the die virus stuff is working there. I'm just going to pretend it's not there for right now. Ninety nines become immune. Sure, I don't have any ninety nines, but I'll take it for the re rolls. Slot machine, I'll take it for the re rolls. Single set of a kind it was not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of non standard pairs. I don't think I need to buy more die quantity multipliers. They are just breeding themselves now as a virus. Places of die face of your choice with the die risk. When rolled, this face will have the total value of the total dice quantity. This face also has a chance when re-rolled to replace an adjacent numeric die face with a die risk. I think if we get to like having thousands of dice on our grid that might be the time to purchase one of those but for right now i will pass only face multiplier squared if the most common number rolled is also the only number rolled that's not going to happen for us there's a lock though I'm sure I've rolled past several of them in error. We don't have any rebate die, so I'm not going to worry about that. take triples for an extra 100%. Definitely don't want big spender, that will break the run because it breaks all other passives which is something we do not want. There's non-standard doubles, that was what I was talking about earlier. So now non-standard dice can receive the effects of doubles, triples and Yahtzee bonuses. And so when we just have a C of like times 100s, they'll be able to benefit from Yahtzee bonuses, which is going to be massive. And you can see that we are quickly making more dice at this point. Keep doing the lock thing as long as my brain can handle it. This was our prime face. No, this was our prime face. But I'm going to keep copying ones that don't have the 100 die multiplier times on it. We don't want that spreading any faster than it necessarily has to, I think. And then one more to lock.
My scope of how much we're actually earning versus what we're spending right now seems really blurred. Do not want 9999s. Run multiplier doesn't hurt us. Very effectively cheap. Run increase we don't want. Or Yahtzee increase even. Fives rolling an extra time I don't care about. I must have a key I can move somewhere. It's going to be a big black dot. There it is. I say big black dot. It's not actually that well defined. I can go there. I wonder if it's worth investing in things like wilds now. All die, die refresh adders will no longer add die or shop refreshes. When they would normally add a die or refresh, they will instead be worth quantity of dice times number of rolls to produce times 100 or quantity of shop refreshes squared times 100. That seems like something you would want in the very late game with this strategy instead. Rather than right now when we're still breeding lots of stuff. And at this point, I'm not sure what passives we still really desperately want that we don't have. I'll take no weights, triple reroll, just to see it gone. There's a lock. 500 rolls, 550 remaining. We're not making as many die as I would expect at this point, though. I don't know if that's just my kind of warped perception of the situation or what. going to keep buying passives that don't hurt us. Upon purchase, die quantity faces can be affected by multipliers which target a single face. Single face multipliers will no longer target any numerical numbers. Well, we don't have any single face multipliers, so I don't think this breaks our run. They only target die quantity faces. Multipliers attached to a face can now additionally target die quantity faces. Sure, why not buy this? Perfect square bonus. We'll get about once every 100 rolls or something. I'll take another 100 die quantity multiplier. That can't hurt if we put it right in the corner. Eight hundred percent lottery multiplier isn't going to do us any harm. Rerolling even numbers also absolutely harmless. We'll put a lock somewhere. The multiple the <laughs> the die quantity multipliers really are taking over on this side i think we're just going to have to breed what we can while we can Definitely don't have fewer than six dice at this point, but I'm not really worried about it. I 
that one was actually incredibly expensive comparatively. I'm also wondering what point we'll get to exponent ranges. Still haven't seen that yet. avoid perfect square increase but we will take Yahtzee bonuses and I'll take a triple bonus while it's presented Yahtzee rerolls in triplicate is fine by me top three is to be avoided factor 18 multiplier won't do anything wild adjacency bonus I guess we can just eliminate it from the pool Numbers less than 13, re-roll an extra time, sure. Perfect square bonus, an extra 100%, absolutely. Fewer than six dice, an extra 500%, you're gone. Single set of a kind, I'm sick of seeing you. Numbers divisible by two, an extra 50%, absolutely. Right, I have no idea what else I'm looking for at this point. All I know is that this is just mostly die quantity multipliers now. And if we look at the nets, this is where our breeding station was, as evidenced by the one that is still locked. But now all of our keys are gone. So that's basically the end of that. How many dice do we now have? 815. So, a good number. Buy one, get one. Single set of a kind. I'm just going to buy you now, just to see the end of you. We definitely don't want rigged machine. Although rigged machine might not be the one that breaks lotteries. That might be all in. In any case, it doesn't seem very pertinent to us. Numbers less than 13 increased by 1,000%. Yes. Prime numbers increased by 300%. Absolutely. I'll take the lottery bonus just to never see it again. Numbers divisible by 2, an extra 100%. Sure thing. Prime numbers increase an extra 500%. Absolutely. All in. The result of all lottery faces will be multiplied by 10. When all lottery faces in a row are a failure, loss, lose all banked points. Well, we don't have any lottery faces, but I'm not going to screw around with it. Add die discount. All dice and die adder faces are 15% cheaper. Additionally, for each new die you gain... Reduce current shop prices by 2%. Does not apply to refresh stock or shop upgrade. Well, that seems like something we want. And that was very cheap. I'll take a BOGO while it's also incredibly cheap. There's 10 more dice. So we're up in the exponent ranges now. Might be a time to consider a dirus. But I'll do that when we are far lower in our re-rolls. Numbers divisible by 5, an extra 200%. No 99s, an extra 100%. Lucky re-rolls. Get it out of there. I think we went into and out of the shop very quickly there all at once. Run re-rolls. Sure.
Rigged machine. I can't afford you. And I can't roll dice anymore. Hold on. What's going on? Bogo. Alright, this seems like a fairly significant bug. I can't roll multiple times anymore. I can roll once each time I come in and out of the shop. That's awkward. I'm going to report that to the dev right now, uh, but we will try and see the end of this run out. Give me a moment. Right, let's see if this bug persists. Yep, certain, certainly seems to be acting that way. And am I not making any new dice anymore? Oh, we are. They just didn't happen to do it on that perfectly square turn. Give me Bogo. Give me this because it's very cheap. Give me that because it's very cheap. So now we're just adding more and more dice for the sake of it. Alright, what I might have to do... Oh, hold on. My number of rolls isn't going down. Alright, in that case... I'm probably going to have to abandon the run at some point. Because... I can roll a score of infinite... But... I can never post it to the scoreboard... Because my number of rolls isn't going down. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the recording... And then we will close out the game and reload and see if that lets me start rolling again. But for right now, things are getting weird. So I'll be right back. All right, I went back to the main menu. Continue game. Do we still have 388 rolls? We do. But clicking does take me down to 387. Can I click multiple times? Let's find something I actually want to buy. Lightweight 500% bonuses, fine. Well, that doesn't count because we could just afford what we wanted that time. Give me mail-in rebate, sure. Alright, that seems to have fixed the broken problem, so we shall carry on. Right, I'm going to avoid buying any lottery stuff now because I can't remember what lottery stuff is going to negatively impact us. I will take another BOGO. I will add a die with all prime faces. I will add another BOGO. So that's one, two, three, four we must have at this point. Put a die adder adder right in that corner for me. I don't think I need to screw around with voids, but I mean also why not just kind of put them on dice that are all this? Top three, absolutely not. Factor 18 multiplier. I guess we can just kind of get rid of it. It shouldn't lower our scoring capacity. OK, 
Can we get enough BOGOs that everything just becomes free? I'll take 99.99s since we don't have any 99s. Is it time to buy a Dyrus? When rolled, this face will have the value of the total die quantity. This face also has a chance when rolled to replace an adjacent numeric die face with a Dyrus. Yeah, we don't need our numeric die faces anymore. Do I still have the one with all the 99s on it? It's probably been consumed. So let's start over here in like quiet area. Let's see what that does. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. We definitely don't want increment to die because those will go to 99, which we want to avoid because that's providing us with two of our rerolls at the moment. Take lucky sevens. Top three and increases are still to be avoided. Alright, we flew past that BOGO. Either I didn't lock it or something else just went wild. I think we are mostly done for passives that we want to buy. If we look at the ones that we have bought, there is a lot there. Obviously, some things can have different likelihoods of appearing. Uh, left sum. Replaces a die face of your choice with a left sum face. When rolled, this face will have the value of the sum of each face to the left or right of this die, or the left of this die, until reaching the end of the row. Or another left right sum face. If pointing at a sum right face, all dice between the two will be multiplied by double the quantity of dice between them. This effect ignores wilds and faces which multiply the entire roll, and this face cannot have its value increased by passive abilities. Well, let's grab one of those. Now, the hard part's going to be finding a place to put it and remembering where it's going to go. So I'm going to put it right here. And then we'll look for a right times multiplier. I think that's basically everything that is cheaper than it becoming free. So we're looking for a right times multiplier. It's another left sum. I'll pick up another lefty. If I can find the one we just purchased, which is going to be a mission in its own right. There it is. Let's just line a few up to the left there. the lefty okay we flew past that we've already lapped those dice should have bought the free ones should have bought the free ones how's our dyrus doing He's got a humble little population going on over there. Right, I just want one of these guys that points right. They must be in there, right? In the pool.
There's another left one. There we go. Right sum. So let's not accidentally click where we don't want to. So we want to put that as far as left we can on this row. I just have to trust myself that I can scan left to right correctly. Hopefully that's going to do a lot of good for us. And at this point I'm wondering how much more worth it is it to actually try and buy stuff versus just rolling for a while. Because we haven't just watched the die populate for a few dozen runs. Let's see, how many die do we have right now? 2042. And by the time we get to 300... Two thousand four hundred and two. Is that two thousand and forty two to two thousand four hundred and two? So three hundred and sixty dice in thirty rolls. An E twenty two score currently. Game running very smoothly in comparative to what it once was. We now have 3,394 dice. And I think my top score in the previous build of the game was E27. So there goes that. You can just watch the diris slowly grow in the corner. So clearly, there's probably a lot more min-maxing that can be done to get these scores up into the E100s and higher. But right now, this strategy, if nothing else, is very satisfying. And I was worried at the beginning that we weren't going to get there, but the plans worked out. a tiny hiccup that's e40 e41 e42 so yeah this is probably going to get patched out fairly soon Dev said uh, there'll be like a minor content update to rebalance all of this. Let's see how many shop upgrades we've generated. What? Only 108. I would have thought it'd be more than that. I've never seen such dizzyingly high shop costs. No way I'm spending that much money now. So, just before we finish, how many dice do we have? 8,636, plus whatever we get on the end. Which is an incredible number compared to where we were last week before the new patch came out. And there's about another 20 or 30 on the end. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you want to give this a go yourselves, get in there while you still can. 1.32 to the E48. Name, G Lord UK. I don't know why I insist on saying it when I type it. And we are in 11th place. So a lot of these are probably doing very similar strategies. And you can see that they can do a whole lot more. But for right now, I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. And if you have any recommendations for builds you would like to see on Fan Build Friday, put the details down below and maybe I'll give it a go. 
in any case thank you ever so much for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers